I've been playing Bejeweled games for over 10 years now, and a mode that has made quite the impression on me is Zen Mode in Bejeweled 3. Heck, it was the only mode that I ever played when I first started, because, well... 8 year old me was such a pussy back then to even dare try any other mode a second time. But other than that, I really like this mode for two reasons. One, you can't game over, so you can play for a countably infinite amount of time, and second, you can customize your experience through the Zen options. Except for binaural beats, you'll immediately suffer a stroke if you dare turn it on. However, I'm not here to talk about any of those. Today, I will attempt to explain the workings of a mechanic that you might have noticed but never really paid too much attention to. That's right, it's... There are eight colors. Here they are in order. Purple, pink, red, yellow, green, blue, teal, and white. And they rotate in a cycle. However, it isn't as straightforward as it sounds. Here, this is how it really works. Every time a big diamond, or a pair of small diamonds, change to a new color of that necklace, the next color that it changes to will always be purple. So, the actual order is purple, pink, back to purple, because at this point pink is a new color. Pink, red, back to purple because red is a new color, then pink, then red, then yellow, and because at this point yellow is a new color, the next color that it changes to will be purple, and so on. So, with this in mind, we can figure out that it would take zero color changes to see purple because, well, Purple is the color that we started with. And from purple, we need one more color change to see pink for the first time. From pink, it will be three more color changes to see red for the first time. From red, it will be four more color changes to see yellow for the first time. Five from yellow to see green. Six from green to see blue. Seven from blue to see teal. And from teal, eight color changes to see white. This means that to go from seeing purple for the first time to seeing white for the first time, a pair of small diamonds, or a big diamond of any necklace, will have to change its color 34 times. Here's a table to help out. After these initial 34 color changes, all the colors will cycle from purple to white with no disruptions. Essentially, there are four key things I want to address. One, as you can tell, there are four necklaces. Two, each necklace has one more pair of small diamonds than the necklace above it. Three, a new necklace will appear after the biggest diamond of the previous necklace turns pink for the first time. And four, if the big diamond of any of the first three necklaces change color, so will the innermost pair of small diamonds of the necklace directly below it that does not share the same color with said necklace's big diamond. This repeats until all of the diamonds of the latter necklace have the same color. After that, the big diamond will change color, and the cycle repeats. With all that info, let's actually use it to predict things. We can start by defining the patterns of each necklace. To prevent overcomplicating things, let's focus on the big diamonds of each necklace only. Let's start with the first necklace. If we look at the levels where the big diamond of the first necklace changes color, we get a sequence of 4, 7, 10, 13, 16, and so on. Therefore, we can define the progression of this sequence as 3x plus 1. That is, the big diamond of the first necklace changes color x times on level 3x plus 1. 
13 color changes will occur on level 3 times 13 plus 1, or level 40. Moving on to the second necklace. The big diamond of this necklace changes color on levels 16, 28, 40, 52, 64, etc. every 12 levels. Thus, the progression of the second necklace is 12x plus 4. Doing the same for the third necklace will get you the sequence 60x plus 16, and the fourth necklace will follow the sequence of 360x plus 76. Here's a table to help out. So, to test if my findings actually work, let's apply them in order to recreate the necklaces of a level. I'll go for level 6919. As mentioned just now, I will be using only what I've discussed in the previous three parts to reconstruct the four necklaces of this level. Starting with necklace 1. So, for necklace 1, we can set up the equation 3x plus 1 equals 6919. Solving for x gives us 2306. This means that there have been 2306 total color changes so far. Each loop, i.e. purple to purple, takes 8 color changes. So the sensible thing here to do is to divide by 8, right? Well, no, not yet at least. As for y, I would like to address the first loop because it is irregular. As mentioned earlier, it takes 34 color changes to go from the first purple to white, and one more to go from white back to purple, for a total of 35 color changes. This means that we must subtract 35 from 2306. The result is 2271. These are the color changes that make up the regular loops. After this, we divide 2,271 by 8 to get 283.875. This is how many regular loops that have passed. What we're interested in are the digits following the decimal point, so let's get rid of the holes. This leaves us with 0 0.875. Then, we multiply 0 0.875 by 8 to get 7. This is the number of color changes that have happened after the last purple gem, i.e. the last time the gem was purple. Seven color changes after purple leads us to white, hence that will be the color of our big gem. But what about the small gems? What color are they? Well, the result we have here is a whole number. This means that the big diamond has just changed color on this level. Thus, we can conclude that the big diamond of this necklace is white, and both pairs of small diamonds will be the color preceding white, which is teal. Necklace 2. We start with the equation 12x plus 4 equals 6919. Slowing for x gives 576.25. Then, we do exactly as before, subtracting 35 from x, dividing the answer by 8, removing the parts before the decimal point, and multiplying the result by 8 to get 5.25. Now 5 color changes from purple is blue, so that will be the color of the big gem. But what about the decimal point? What to do with the point 25? Well, here is something that may help. So, 0.25 is equivalent to one quarter. Thus, the first pair of small diamonds will be blue, as with the big diamond. The rest will be the color green. Next is necklace 3. We have the equation 60x plus 16 equals 6919. Solving for x 
gives 115.05 as the answer. We then do exactly as before. Subtract 35 from x, divide the result by 8, remove the holes, and multiply that number by 8 to give 0 0.05. So zero color changes from purple is purple. So that will be the color of the big gem. You may also notice that the decimal portion does not equate to any fifth at all. In this case, let's round down to the nearest fifth. 0 0.05 is here, and the nearest fifth down is 0 fifths, or just 0. Hence, the big diamond is purple, and all the small diamonds are white. And finally, necklace 4. For this necklace, we have the equation 360x plus 76 equals 6919. Solving for x gives 19.008 the recurring as the answer. Now you'll immediately notice that this number is smaller than 35. So this means we're still in the first loop. So let's look at the first 34 color changes shown in this table here. Now let's look for the number that is immediately below 19 in the rightmost column. And would you look at that? 19 actually appears in the table, and the color it points to is blue. So that will be the color of our big diamond. Now let's round down the decimal portion to the nearest sixth. So 0 0.008 the recurring is here. And the closest sixth down, as you can probably guess already, is 0 6. So we can now conclude that the big gem of this necklace will be blue and all of the small gems will be green. So this is what the necklaces will look like on level 6919. If you go into the game and check either by grinding or using a safe editor like me, you will find that this is indeed what the necklaces look like and therefore my findings have been proven correct. So, let's review. There are four necklaces. Each necklace has one pair of small diamonds more than the previous. There are eight possible colors that a diamond can have. Purple, pink, red, yellow, green, blue, teal, and white. Every time the diamonds change into a color for the first time, the succeeding color will always be purple. And finally, here are the diamond's color change progressions. So, that's it everyone. You probably have no idea of what I was talking about for the past, like, 15 minutes or so. But whatever, some would say that this was a bad idea from the start anyway. See ya!